Tradition. Excellence. Class. Champions. Words embodied by the Alabama Crimson Tide. Earned by generations of men who learned the importance of hard work, the benefits of playing together, and the joy of championships won. These are the men who wrote the stories we tell our children, who left us a legacy we continue today. Coach Bryant once said, have a plan you believe in so strongly that you will never compromise. Though our methods have changed, our plan has remained the same, to be the premier program in college football. In our continued quest for excellence, we must have the best facilities for both players and fans. This is our plan, and the expansion of Bryant-Denny Stadium is proof of our commitment. For over 85 years, Bryant-Denny has been the home of the Crimson Tide. Its evolution has been significant, from its origins in 1929 when 12,000 seats were erected for a Crimson Tide team coached by Wallace Wade, to today in 2006, when after a $54 million expansion with 92,000 seats. It now serves as host to a team helmed by former Alabama quarterback Mike Shula. These are but bookends in the continuing history of Bryant-Denny Stadium. What began as a building bordering one half of the field, the 12,000-seat George Hutchison Denny Stadium was meant to give the Crimson Tide a permanent, more sizable presence on the campus of the University of Alabama than the old Denny Field. After the 1930 National Championship during the Frank Thomas era, Denny Stadium underwent its first expansion, doubling in size to approximately 24,000. The stadium was expanded again in 1946, the year after a perfect season for the Crimson Tide, with a team that featured All-Americans Harry Gilmer and Vaughn Mancha. When Paul Bryant returned to Alabama in 1958, Denny Stadium had remained untouched for years, but the legendary coach mapped out details for an additional 12,000 seats and a new press box that were completed in time for a run to the national title in 1961. The new 43,000 seat stadium saw two more national titles in 1964 and 1965, and with an increased demand for tickets, Coach Bryant implemented an expansion of another 17,000 seats, which completed the lower bowl structure. A 26 to nothing victory over Clemson was the first game in the 60,000 seat Denny Stadium. In the summer of 1975, the state legislature renamed the stadium to Bryant-Denny in honor of the four-time national championship coach. And on April 10, 1976, during the annual 8A game, the official dedication took place. Coach Bryant would go on to win two more national championships in the stadium, bearing his name. I try to get a thrill every time I walk on that field. I think, good Lord, every day I walk on that field. Over the years, other on-campus arenas had outpaced Brian Denny in refurbishing and expansions as the Crimson Tide continued to play most of its key games at Legion Field in Birmingham. But in 1985, Athletics Director Ray Perkins set in motion plans to renovate the west side of Brian Denny Stadium. After Alabama defeated Temple in the final game of the 1986 Tuscaloosa schedule, construction began on the new upper deck, press box, and other interior refinements. After playing the entire 1987 home schedule at Legion Field in Birmingham, the Tide returned to a 70,123-seat configuration. It was also the first season of our Tide Pride ticket program. In the 1988 home opener, Alabama beat Vanderbilt 44-10. The modernization process of Bryant-Denny continued in 1991 when the AstroTurf surface was lifted after 21 years and replaced with natural grass. The continued commitment to excellence in facilities paid dividends when the Tide, led by coach Gene Stallings, won their 12th and most recent national championship in 1992. In 1994, Athletic Director Hootie Ingram met with University President Roger Sayers to begin the planning for the East Side Edition. Over the next four years, the expansion would prove to be a massive undertaking, requiring the relocation of both sorority houses and underground utilities to make room for the new upper deck. When finally completed in 1998, the east side upper deck and skyboxes brought the total seating capacity to 83,818. Which leads us to 2006. Guided by the vision and direction of Athletics Director Mal Moore and with the support of the President and Board of Trustees, we stand here today. 
with over 92,000 seats, a new club lounge, luxury skyboxes, and a plaza that honors our past, present, and future, this stadium is a fitting centerpiece for our storied program. No one can help but be aware of the rich tradition that is associated with this team and this university. Tradition is a burden in many ways. On the other hand, tradition is that which allows us to prevail in ways that we could not otherwise. Our desire to continue that tradition has brought us here. The sun rises on another day in the history of the Crimson Tide. We are steadfast in our commitment to excellence, both on and off the field. We have a plan, and we will not compromise. Welcome to the new Bryant-Denny Stadium. The tradition continues.